Hello everyone, my name is Anil Bajpayee. Welcome to Education Tad. We are working on Flowable series and we have two more leftover sessions after which the agenda that I plan will be completed. If you have not watched uh, other videos in this series, go and watch that. We have complete course on Flowable. So two sessions that I am going to work upon, this will be combined and a follow-up session as well. So we need to complete API, how the APIs are orchestrated and how we can utilize when we are working with Flowable open source or the enterprise version. But we are not going to use Tomcat based installation or enterprise installation for this rather than I want to show you a new way where we will be first setting up the Docker image installation and then on top of it, we are going to demo you how the APIs usually work. So be with me and let's have a look. This is your docker.com from where you can install Docker image. So you can download for Windows or Mac based on the operating system that you use. Once this is installed, you will have. So when you download, this will be 500 plus MB software that will be installed and then that will be downloaded and then you need to install it. So with this Docker framework will be installed on your system. Next is you need to clone the images based on your requirement. So what we are going to do, we are going to utilize one already created Docker image for Flowable to instantiate Docker Flowable uh, framework or the Flowable process engine on this Docker image. Docker desktop installer. installer. This is very simple to install. Just right click, run as administrator or open. Then next, next finish. What it does, it also install Docker command line. This is how it is downloading the package and it is unpacking some of the fields. It, it takes some time. So I'm just going to do this in the background. This is very straightforward. Let me know if you have any questions around it in the comment box. I, I should be able to help you. So this is important. Once this unpacking of the libraries are done, you should be able to see prompt like close and restart. So this is important when you are installing Docker desktop. This process is important to set up all the libraries because you know it is going to utilize some of the OS related resources. So for that, once it restart, it just plugs it uh, some of the libraries with OS related resources. So this is important. Some of the time you must be experiencing that your Docker is not coming up and it may be because of some of the underlying OS libraries are not installed on your system. So this is the URL where you can get some help. And uh, there are two ways to do the installation. One is simplified install where this command works if you are part of Windows inside a program. Otherwise, there are manual steps mentioned here. This is something which I followed to make this Docker up and running though in the last uh, try on different machine. It was very straightforward downloading Docker desktop and then running it worked for me. But this time <clears throat> I enabled it. I ran this command and then basis on x64 machine. I ran this command and then I downloaded kernel package and after this I set up this WSL version and then I chose to go for Ubuntu. I set up my username and password and as you can see that this is my Ubuntu setup and then this is my docker which is up and running. So this was quick.
part of this we want to install the flowable package on top of it so for that i'll be creating a separate video on the follow-up session just go and watch this for now this is how to install the docker on desktop i hope you like this session please let me know in the comment box if you face any challenges feel free to write me on education gmail.com also let's work on creating the flowable image in the next session and then utilizing api rest calls through postman and the follow-up sessions thanks for watching